Ja, mein Name ist Milan Berikovic. I'm here professor at the Technical University of Braunschweig. Um, my chair is uh, dealing with um, chip design and embedded systems for chip design. And um, particularly, uh, we are working on uh, VLSI technology, and we are also, I'm also teaching uh, VLSI design and hardware software system design at the university. And this is also reflected in our research topics here. So we are researching uh, virtual systems, hardware software systems, and also the design of, of digital systems on chip and FPG. Technical University Braunschweig is one of the nine technical universities in Germany. It's quite old. It's from its origins are from the 18th century. So one of the first students was actually Karl Friedrich Gauss, who, who studied here uh, before he later on moved to Göttingen. And nowadays we have the complete portfolio of technical studies, uh, and uh, we have 20,000 uh, students. And I'm involved in computer science, electrical engineering, and information uh, systems technology. But we have also new uh, study programs which combine uh, economics and engineering that are quite popular. Yeah, so, so Canon software is quite important for us, uh, particularly when it comes to VLSI design. So we have labs where students can design their own chip, actually, and this is uh, done using uh, professional Caden software that is also used in industry to do chip designs. So the students uh, learn how to do chips with the real industrial environment and their Caden system extreme help. Also, we have a uh, good uh, connections to Cadence and support. So, so when it comes to latest tools or even sometimes new features like 3D routing, we even get access to better tools, also for high level synthesis where we can explore the latest tool chains. Another area where we use Kins tools is for hardware software system design using virtual prototypes. So my name is Qin, come from China, and I'm a PhD student from Tu Braunschweig C3 group. And this is my uh, PhD topic related to pedestrian detection from the stereo cameras. Currently, uh, we designed the PCB, which connected from uh, P-mode cameras to uh, LED boards, and we are using the Canon's Evo tools to design this PCB board. And also, um, currently, the detection works like one camera is detecting the object, and the other one is to detect the distance, how far it is to this object. If we check the uh, for the for the detection for the detection part um, for the detection part we are using kind of like IDA boost to train the uh, data set we are having a few gigabytes of pedestrian data set and also we captured a lot of um, uh, ima pedestrian images using our camera then using this data set to uh, train these cameras later with this train detector module. Um, using kind of a boost decision tree to detect the real pedestrian. Now the camera works like six, um, 640 multiply 480 resolution with 30 frames per second in real time. Uh, this network is actually uh, quite uh, useful for us. Uh, we have a joint um, conference uh, um, that we organize uh, each year, uh, mm -hmm. so where um, people can send their, their, their papers and they, uh, where they reflect their experience with latest technology. Also, we, we collaborate with other lead institutions on uh, teaching courses, but also on tools, how to use them experience with tools and since the network is quite large we cover every aspect from analog design, digital design, system design, so it's extremely useful for us. Um, I'm benefiting by, by, by um, being able to, to get experience from others. Um, I'm also benefiting from the direct collaboration with Cadence where for example we have a joint PhD student who is looking into future technology designs uh, uh, looking at uh, 7 nanometer, 5 nanometer designs, how they can be. And we're also benefiting by, let's say, organizing uh, joint um, projects where we have direct projects uh, with Cadence, also joint projects with the BMBF. Currently, we are just starting a project, it's called M-Phase, which is dealing with uh, microelectronic components for autonomous driving. 